Yo guys, what's up? Spider here. It's been a few days uh, since I've been able to sort of chill with you guys for, uh, you know, kind of like a regular sort of longer commentary. But uh, I'm running through with this uh, video with you guys here today, just showing you a, a route that you can be running when you're either running solo or if you're running, you know, sort of with four players. And usually with four players, I recommend that uh, you split up and each find a solid area that you can run because it's a lot easier it's a lot easier running by yourself uh, if you're playing co-op let's say you're playing four players it's a lot easier uh, in my opinion on any map to pick a spot and each player goes to their own spot and they're they're sort of separated and it it thins out the zombies it thins them out and it's far easier to run at any of these spots than it is to run them just uh, when you're solo and you're not running co-op so uh, this is the cafeteria, and we've got a few things available to us. Uh, I haven't even purchased claymores, so I'm going to purchase claymores. But we've got the acid trap, and there are three windows. So the, the zombies come in from three windows, uh, one, on the si uh, one on each side, one on the back, and then they come through, obviously, that front entrance. And you've got that acid trap up there, which I'm going to use for the first time here in uh, this game. I don't, I don't think I've even triggered it on any other game uh, that we've played. But, uh, yeah, the, the cafeteria is not so bad. And I do have, uh, I'm going to show round 29, and then I'm going to show round 30. And I do get down in round 30. It's just me being stupid. I'm, I'm still tired, even though I got six hours of sleep last night. That's only eight hours in the past, uh, I don't know, what, how long has it been even since the, the map released? Uh, 24, 34, no, 48. Well, eight hours in the last 60, something like that. Is that right? Yeah, something like that. Anyways, <laughs> so we're probably going to run another game tonight with the crew. We're just trying to set that up. And I'll, I'll run through some of the other spots. Because there's a few. There's a few. Uh, like here, the cafeteria. We get the shower. We get the roof. We get the docks. Um, there might even be one or two other areas that I'm not thinking about. Oh, well, over on the bridge as well. So, uh, we're going to try and run all those spots for you. And we have to a degree. I mean, I've already run some of, or most of those spots to a degree already during the games we've played. So, it's not going to be that difficult, especially with uh, with the four of us doing it. Um, so, yeah, and, uh, and obviously having the vitriolic withering is a huge benefit. I mean, it's nowhere oh, near as good as, like, a thunder gun or the... the Sliquifier, right? You're not going to necessarily take out the entire group of zombies. You'll, you'll get a good chunk of them, but a lot of them will survive. You're going to create crawlers, which can create issues. Uh, but I usually try and use the... the uh, uh, Should I just call it... I mean, I hate... It's so complicated to call it the vitriolic withering. The VW? Let's call it the VW. It's called the Volkswagen. Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it the Volkswagen from now on, okay? The vitriolic withering is now the Volkswagen. Uh, so there's the acid trap, and the acid trap just destroys anything coming in that front, obviously. Um, I mean, you could even use it if you want to, uh, you know, train a group of zombies, go out into the corridor, though I wouldn't really recommend it, and then come back in and uh, turn on the acid trap. I really wouldn't, wouldn't want to be out in the corridor uh, after uh, hitting the acid trap and, and killing all the zombies coming out of the cafeteria. I'd do it the other way, coming back in. But, uh, yeah, back to the VW... It's, uh, it's pretty good. Again, it acts like a, an upgraded uh, crossbow. When you shoot it, it shoots out three three bursts of the, uh, I don't know, the acid canisters, let's call them. They stick to the zombies, and, uh, you know, it, it, it uh, attracts all the zombies. They're attracted to it. It's like, oh, look at, the, look at the glowing green light of acid. I want some. I want some. And they all go to it, and then they go, boom. And just for my thoughts on the map, I know people have been asking, you know, what do, th what do you think of Mob of the Dead? Do you like it? Is it the best map ever? I mean, I I think it's a great map. I think it's a great map. It's it's large. I mean, I hate the fact that, um, and this has been the case since Transit, Transit, Die Rise, and, and now here. You know, if you have a crawler in a certain area, the, the maps are so large that when you get too far away from the zombies, the logic in the game uh, requires that the zombie... Uh, you know, respawn closer to where you are. 
But if they're hurt, like that zombie right there that didn't have an arm, he'd likely just die. He wouldn't respawn. So, and the same goes for a crawler. If you only have a crawler left at the end of the round, uh, and you want to go to the other side of the map without starting the next round, like you're stuck, you gotta, tr you gotta trail the crawler all the way over, and if he's a slow crawler, it takes forever. Um, and I should know, because I did it in this game. And uh, here's the here's the stupid mistake I make here. Um, again, just not paying attention. I mean, I could have easily gotten past that zombie, and I'm trying to get out of here uh, by shooting the zombies with the, uh, the, v the Volkswagen, but damn it, I can't get out, and then the Volkswagen takes me down because you do take some damage. But here, I mean, it's actually a good point because then you get to see, okay, well, what happens if you get downed in the cafeteria? I mean, I need to get my perks, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of these zombies. I'm gonna clear a path out of here because I don't want to be in the cafeteria anymore. I want to run. I want to get the hell out of here, and I want to get my perks. So if you're gonna run the cafeteria on solo, and I'll show you why you want to do this, just make sure before you start running around that uh, the gondola is at the top uh, because I want to get jug first I know I can uh, you can I can just run straight forward and go through the Citadel tunnels but instead I turn this way and I'm thinking well let's go to the gondola um, but then I'm like uh, yeah it's not at the top and I start running towards it I'm like uh, you know what I'm not gonna call this thing screw that and look at all the zombies coming in I'm like no I gotta I gotta go through the tunnels here and I almost get caught. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, but what you can do is shoot the zombies. I mean, if, if you have, you know it looks like you're going to get caught in the hallway, you can just turn around, shoot the zombies that are chasing you, and uh, and try and avoid the ones in front because they'll be attracted to the uh, those rounds, those, uh, those vials of acid. So we're going to run all the way down here in the Citadel Tunnels. And uh, the other benefit here is that I think with that last shot, from the Volkswagen, um, we killed most of the zombies. There are only a couple left, uh, except for that one, possibly. So you just want to be careful because there are a couple spawn points on the way down here in order to get jugged. Like I said, the gondola is your best bet. The gondola would have been absolutely fantastic. I would have been down here and gotten jugged probably before any zombies spawn in. So, again, you're going to run the cafeteria and make sure it's at the top for cases like this. So we're going to go back up. We're going to get the rest of their, our perks, and there are only a couple zombies left. I uh, didn't even realize there was that few. Um, and we're going to get Deadshot, and we're going to get our Speed Cola, and then that's it. We're going to keep running. Actually, I think I still have this game paused. But uh, a good uh, a good running spot, definitely, in the cafeteria. One of several that you can run, but uh, probably... I, I know people have run in the shower. I don't, uh, I don't know if I necessarily like the shower, running the shower solo. Or I just don't have the knack for it just yet. I mean, the cafeteria seemed really easy to me. Uh, the shower, I, w I actually had some problems with. But uh, I just need to run it some more, I think. Anyways, uh, that's about it. I wanted to bring this to you. And uh, we'll have more for you as far as uh, running spots. And uh, especially, honestly, with what I think we can do in co-op, I think we can get to pretty much any round we want. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a matter of having the appropriate amount of time to do it um, but I, I truly believe that you know if we had the time to do it we can get to round 200 on co-op if we wanted to on this map but you know it, it's I guess it's easy to say and it's uh, a little more difficult to do but that's just my opinion and uh, we'll, we'll run some stuff for you guys tonight and bring it to you in the next couple days all right hope you enjoyed man I, almost, I, I need to get like a good 15 hours of sleep one night soon I think hey there's the hand Did you see the hand with the the spork the gold spork I have it. The golden spork. I do have it still. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Spider and I'm out.